everyone, welcome to the Electric Supercar Channel. This week, we're going to do some more carbon fiber skinning. Let's get to it. Presented by Fiberglast. All right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at this front lip here. As you can see, we got a little bit of damage right on the front there. That happened, I think, day two or something. I was going to Sonoma and put this on the trailer and there was a chain right underneath. Basically, when we went over bumps, the chain would kind of bump up against that. So it kind of chipped the paint. So some people have been saying uh, the car just looks very blue, needs some accent. So I thought this would be a good time to do an accent. So we're gonna do this one out of carbon fiber. For anyone at home that wants to try this, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this piece here, this trim piece. And one of the first things we have to do is because carbon fiber is kind of a weave, you can kind of see through it a little bit, is we need to get this black. So I'm gonna take this off, um, sand it, and paint it black. I have some leftover uh, truck bed liner that I've used on several things. It is black. So again, I think any black paint would be fine. Uh, rattle can or just leftover urethane paint would be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up, get ready for paint. All right, when you're cleaning up paint, um, doing fiberglass or carbon fiber with resins, there's always a chance that you kind of end up ruining your clothes. That brings us to today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Into the AM. They make some pretty cool apparel. Let me show you. So Into the AM makes some cool graphic tees. They've got a lot of space inspired designs. So they wanted me to give an honest review of their products. So Into the AM, their slogan is outfitting your passion. Their products, they're pretty cool. It's just a little more soft, a little more stretchy. Um, I really like kind of the form fit. Also, the t-shirts, I want to say they're probably about an inch or two longer than most. So again, if you got your arms up, um, everything's still covered. The, uh, the hoodie is amazing. It's, uh, it's kind of like the same material, but just thicker. So I kind of feel like a track star. Um, looks really good too. For my viewers, you get a 10% discount with your order. The link is in the description below. Do you like the fashion show? As comfy as this is, uh, I probably will change so I can go clean some paint. All right, things are black now. It is time to start the fun part, the carbon fiber. So I've got my piece here that's now black. I uh, scuffed it up so we get some good adhesion to the epoxy. So now I'm gonna do, um, figure out kind of the pieces. So I'm not thinking that I can do this all in one piece because it's got a drape. And I think especially like right here in this corner, it'll kind of bunch up. What I got here is I got some paper towel. You could do this with pretty much any fabric though. And this is just, so you don't get into a situation where you've got the epoxy all mixed, you got your pattern cut out, and then it just kind of doesn't lay right. So for this main section here, this one will conform just fine, all the way till you get about here. Then it gets really wrinkled. You kind of just have to decide where your, where your seam's gonna be. I think I want my seam on the inside, because this is gonna be a little more visible. So I'll have the seam in here. So I've made some uh, templates here, just out of paper towel. So one big one on the top, one big one on the bottom and then I'll do two on the sides. And that's really just to avoid any of the wrinkling or weird pattern that I might get if I try to do this with less, with fewer pieces. So I will trace the pattern on some of this craft paper and then cut it out on the carbon fiber. Here we are. This is after essentially just one coat of the resin. I will let this set up and I'll probably put on just one more so I'll have a little more uh, room to sand and polish before we put on the clear coat. This is after I've sanded it once and put on another layer of the epoxy. 
So what I'm noticing, the, one of the big differences between the vacuum bagging and um, just the wet layup is the wet layup ends up having a, I'll call it a lot of texture, just the cloth texture. And so if you want this smooth, you've got to put on epoxy. And the epoxy ends up being kind of even wavy. So you have to sand it, put on another one to get it a lot smoother. So this one will probably get us pretty close. We'll do a final sanding and then we'll put on a clear coat. One other thing I've noticed, I noticed this on a previous project, but um, you do not want to do, I'll call it a mechanical sander when sanding the epoxy. See the epoxy, um, if you get it too hot, I think it says on the data sheet, like above 180 degrees, it will actually start to kind of deteriorate and it actually kind of is a little bit whitish, kind of almost like a milky color. And so if you sand this um, with a mechanical sander, it can get pretty hot and you'll just actually kind of ruin your whole project. So stick to hand sanding. Here it is after a few coats of the clear. All right, so what do you think? Looks okay, right? So we got the front lip done. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I will always kind of know the little imperfections and mistakes, but uh, I think that's kind of part of the game. That'll do it for this week. See you next time.